Hi, and welcome back to the Chew Choi channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to pull the uh, diamond pattern grill from my M440i uh, G26. Um, what I want to do is actually replace, uh, again, this diamond pattern with a CSL uh, that I had purchased as well. Um, I looked on the internet and trying to look for some videos on how to pull this off. Um, some people already had replaced it and I just PM'd them to see how they did it. And it's really, uh, it looked fairly simple. You just gotta yank it out just a little bit. Um, advisable just to use a couple of pry bar tools or pry tools that I have here just to insert them where the tabs are. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you what the tabs are or where the tabs are. So what I like to do is, you know, with the part, my replacement part, you can actually see where um, the clips are. So if I flip this over, um, you have two clips up here, right? So if I line this up, and you can feel these too. The top ones, you can actually put your fingers underneath here and you can feel these here. All right, so you have two up there, uh, two over here, really on the opposite side. Um, there uh, isn't one in the middle, uh, but you have some along the sides, but um, really those won't be able to feel and you have some on the bottom too. So it's recommended um, from my experience and what I've seen other, the other two people do is actually start in the corners, start in the uh, left corner and the right corners, pull these out. What I didn't do is actually put my hands through here from the top and start yanking these out from here on both sides. And then on the bottom, for what I do is on the bottom, it's actually very tight against the lip on the bottom, right? There's actually almost no space here to put a pry bar. So what I do is I take the grill and I pull up and then I pull out. Um, really, so that's the process. So I'm going to get to the video. I'm going to get through the process. All right, so in this attempt, I'm going to try to take, um, pull out the upper left side again. So again, you can actually feel underneath where the tabs are. There's one here and one here. So I'm going to put a really a pry bar um, really in this area here just to kind of get it down a little bit. I'll put another one, I believe it's over here. So I'll put one here. All right. Now what you want to do is actually grab as much frame as you can and then start gently uh, just yank it out. I'm going to give it a slow go here. And there you go. Again, I'm going to repeat it for the right side now. So again, uh, you have one tab here. So I'll put the pry tool here. And then you have another one here. I'll put one here as well. Just want to make sure I have enough room in there. And again, you want to grab as much as the grill that you can and give it a firm yank. Okay, now that's out here as well. All right, now to continue, um, you really don't need any more um, pry tools. So basically what I did um, to get the rest of it out um, is that I ran my hand along the side over here and I started to pull out a little bit here as well. Okay, same thing over here. I ran my side and they're pretty much loose, right? Now what you want to do is actually grab the underneath. So what's really um, holding it in place. I still have one in the center, so let me loosen, loosen up the center one. Again, firm yank, All right? Now mostly that's loose here. You have a wire here. You have a sensor here that's wired and you have a sensor here that's wired as well. So when you have enough clearance space, um, we'll just remove that. All right, so I'm actually um, at the center camera module. And as you see here, there's a clip that's holding the camera in place, both on the left and right side. So you want to loosen that up on both sides uh, to pull those out. And then for the other sensor here, you have a, a white clip. Let me see if I can get my hand down here with this toolbar. You have that white clip there that you have to pull up, lift it out, and just uh, pop this off, yank that off. And same thing on the other side as well. Let me see if I can get my tool and camera in place here. It's equally it's the same thing. It's actually a little bit more hidden because I don't have this side of it yet. There we go. Whoop. Apologies for that. So again, you have this tab here. You're going to lift that up, and then you're going to yank this out. All right, now I'm going to try to do this while hovering over the camera just to kind of show you. So again, you have two clips that are holding the cameras in place. So you split those apart and eventually you're going to have to get your hand there and pull this out as well. It just came out. All right, so on the right side, uh, what you have to do is lift up this uh, little clip here. Just pry that up and then for the sensor here, you just wiggle that out. All right, I readjust the camera so that I can get use my right hand. Um, it's easier because I'm lefty, so I just have to move this around. So again, you want to take that and pull that off. In here, so I'm going to pop the clip off. I'm moving the camera. All right, clip it 
Alright. Alright, I just have to reposition myself again, just a little bit. So again, reach down and I'm gonna pull the pull. Alright, so now to pull the rest of the grill out. Basically, it's really the only uh, clips that are holding it is on the bottom. I believe there's two here. There's two here and there's one in the middle. And for this one, uh, it's pretty much, I'm going to lift up and out at the same time. Again, just to give myself a little bit more clearance on the bottom here. I'm going to try to grab the grill here. Up and out. Try it down here, up and out. On, I'll show you here, but these are uh, there's two spots where it's kind of thin, so the actual um, mounting clip that it's uh, sunk into actually comes with it. So you're gonna have to find a way to get that out. Um, either you can use a pry tool, uh, but again, you don't want to snap it, you don't want to pull too hard and then you know break that piece coming out with you. So I'm stuck over here on this side. Um, let me see if I can pause the video and show you on that side. All right, so I'm in here. And for the most part, um, all of this grill is out except for this one point here, which is stuck down here. Again, this piece is a very thin piece, and this clip is stuck here, so when I move this, obviously it moves with it. Now, if I give it too much force, I might break that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pry bar, try to push that down, and pull that out too. I don't know if I can do that with holding the camera as well. I'm going to press down, try to pull that out. If not, I'm going to put the camera back in the mount which I will. Okay, I'm back on the last session here again, so two free hands now. So what I'm gonna do is press down on the clip from the inside. Hopefully get some more room. All right, now it's completely off. All right, so I'm gonna take a step back. Zoom out. Now we have the grill completely off. And now I'm gonna try to put the other grill on. But this pretty much is the uh, the end of the video. Um, so I'll, I'll show the uh, after effect of putting the other grill on. But that's how you remove the uh, grill from the